dear students in this video we are going to discuss about asexual reproduction part 1 plus 2 chapter 1 reproduction in organisms hope you know what is reproduction reproduction is a process in which an organism produces young ones similar to itself There are several purpose of reproduction. Reproduction helps to maintain the continuity of the species. Continuation means non-stop production. If reproduction stops means all the species will become extinct. So, reproduction is very very essential for the survival of the species. Reproduction also introduces variations in organisms this variation arises during crossing over and recombinations in meiotic cell division this variation is very very essential for the animal to adjust in the changed environment the adjustment of the organism in the changed environment is called adaptations now the adapted organisms are selected by the nature that is called as evolution whatever the reproduction is whether it is asexual or sexual there are certain basic features present in all types of reproduction first the cell synthesis rna and proteins it is followed by replication of dna that is multiplication of dna after that the cell divides and continues to grow once the cell attains its, its maturity it forms reproductive units called gametes now the gametes fuse to form the zygote this process is called fertilization animals reproduces by two major modes there are two modes of reproduction asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction now we are going to see about asexual reproduction what is asexual reproduction reproduction without the formation and fusion of gametes is called asexual reproduction the characteristic features of asexual reproduction are it involves a single parent that is only one parent is involved in asexual reproduction hence asexual reproduction is called uniparental reproduction as gametes are not formed in asexual reproduction there is no fertilization in this the cells divides either by amitotic or mitotic cell division as the cells divides by mitosis all the daughter organisms are genetically identical to the parent organisms hence the offspring produced by asexual reproduction are called as clones as the offspring are produced by the division of body cells this reproduction is otherwise called as somatogenic or blastogenic reproduction you can see this type of reproduction in single cell organisms called protista bacteria a primitive form of bacteria called archaea and multicellular organisms with simple organizations now let us see about the various types of asexual reproduction they are fission sporulation budding fragmentation and regeneration you know fission is a type of asexual reproduction during fission what will happen means the parent body will divide into two or more daughter individuals identical to their parents again fission is divided into various types they are binary fission 
multiple fission sporulation and strobilation now based on the plane of division again binary fission is classified into four types simple binary fission transverse binary fission longitudinal binary fission and oblique binary fission you can see simple binary fission in amoeba transverse binary fission in paramecium and planaria longitudinal binary fission in euglena oblique binary fission in dinoflagellates like ceratium now let us see how binary fission occurs in amoeba as amoeba is an irregular shaped organism the plane of division is very hard to observe during binary fission in amoeba the contractile vacuole stop its function and disappear the nucleolus get disintegrated now the nucleus divides mitotically and the cell constrict in the middle so that the cytoplasm divides to form two daughter cells now let us see how binary fission occurs in paramecium in paramecium the plane of division occurs in the transverse axis during binary fission in paramecium the micronucleus divides by mitosis and macronucleus divides by amitosis hence the oral group will start disappearing later new oral groups and new contractile vacuoles are formed and the cytoplasm constrict in the middle to form two new daughter paramecia now let us see how binary fission occurs in paramecium in paramecium the plane of division occurs in the transverse axis during binary fission in paramecium the micronucleus divides by mitosis and macronucleus divides by amitosis hence the oral group will start disappearing later new oral groups and new contractile vacuoles are formed and the cytoplasm constrict in the middle to form two new daughter paramecia now let us see how binary fission occurs in euglena in euglena the plane of division occurs in the longitudinal axis and divides the organism into two daughter individuals in euglena during binary fission the nucleus divides by mitosis you know that euglena is a flagellate organism and it possesses only one flagella hence it cannot be equally distributed to the two daughter individuals hence what will happen during division means the basal granule that is present at the base of the flagella will divide into two and the flagella will arise from the new basal granule in the other daughter individual now let us see how binary fission occurs in ceratium in ceratium the plane of division occurs in the oblique direction oblique means slanting direction ceratium is a unicellular dinoflagellate having two flagella one is shorter and the other one is longer during binary fission the nucleus will divide by mitosis 
followed by the division of cytoplasm from anterior to posterior side result in the formation of two unequal dotted individuals now let us see about multiple fission multiple fission is a type of asexual reproduction we you know if the parent body divides into two identical daughter individuals it is called as binary fission similarly if the parent body divides into many identical daughter individuals it is called as multiple fission during multiple fission the first the nucleus will divide into number of nuclei followed by the division of cytoplasm into number of cytoplasmic particles now each cytoplasmic particle surrounds a daughter nucleus and result in the formation of many smaller daughter individuals from a single parent multiple fission is also called as repeated fission when four or many daughter cells are produced by mitosis and the daughter cells fails to separate from the parent body until the division is complete you can see repeated fission in oticella multiple fission is not only seen in oticella it is also seen in plasmodium and amoeba let us see how multiple fission occurs in plasmodium plasmodium is a unicellular protozoan parasite the life cycle of this parasite possesses various stages such as cryptozoid cryptozoid tropozoid cyzoid oozoid etc but multiple fission occurs in two stages of the parasite such as cyzoid stage and oose stage if the multiple fission occurs in the cyzoid stage it is called as cyzogony and the daughter individuals formed by this division are called as merozoids if the multiple fission occurs in the oocyte stage of the parasite it is called as sporogony and the daughter individuals formed are called as sporozoids during multiple fission in cyzoid stage the nucleus in the cyzoid divides into number of nuclei followed by the division of cytoplasm into number of cytoplasmic particles now each daughter nucleus is surrounded by a cytoplasmic particles and result in the formation of more number of daughter individuals called merozoids later the cell burst and the merozoids are released outside multiple fission in amoeba in amoeba multiple fission occurs during unfavorable conditions unfavorable condition means condition having no water food etc during multiple fission the nucleus inside the amoeba divides into number of nuclei similarly the cytoplasm also divides into number of cytoplasmic particles now each cytoplasmic particle surrounds a daughter nuclei and result in the formation of large number of daughter amoebulae then the amoeba produces a cyst wall cyst means a covering around it and remains inactive for a certain period of time 
that is until the condition becomes favorable when the conditions become favorable the cyst will break and the young amoebulae are released outside in this video we have discussed what is reproduction what are the types of reproduction what is asexual reproduction what are the various types of asexual reproduction what is fission what are the various types of fission binary fission how binary fission occurs in amoeba paramecium euglena and ceratium what is multiple fission how multiple fission occurs in plasmodium and amoeba we can see the continuation of this topic in the next video